Welcome everybody back to Sonic and Shadow Generations. We're in the last part, went through probably the first third of this game. Okay. This is probably where the challenge stages are gonna pop up. Uh-huh. You got the fr oh, that's a is that a part of Gerald's journal? You got front cover interior page one. Okay, I want to go check out the uh, collection room <laughs> real quick. Okay, I immediately see Shadow's motorcycle. Oh hell yeah! Is this? He just hops on the bike. Oh wow! Oh, this, these are bits of Shadow's history. Oh, Adventure Two. This would be Heroes, and then this is Shadow the Hedgehog. Or actually, no. It says Part One, so Part Two. Interesting. <laughs> Funny that he just hops on the bike, and that the bike just. I own a motorcycle, and I ride motorcycle. It is not that easy for it to stay upright like that. Character profiles. <laughs> Shadow Omega. Do we actually get... Ooh. Oh. Alright. Omega. The last and strongest of Dr. Eggman's E-100 series robot. Yeah. Re seeks revenge for being sealed away and unused. His rampage is meant to prove that he's the strongest of all. He is heavily armored and has massive arms, contained a wide variety of weapons that he can cycle in to replace in his hands. I f yeah. Okay. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven characters that are going to be around here. So. Okay. I can have. I can probably take a wild guess. Movies. So, that's the cutscenes. That's the music. Here's the art. Ah, huh. oh, Sonic Heroes box art. 2D shadow poses. Oh. This is just so cool to look at. <laughs> 98 pieces of art. Wait, um, I should, there was, Shadow the Hedgehog initial image sketch. Shadow art arrangement. I'm gonna love just, like, looking at these. I got a thing for, maybe it's in, where would it be at? Because it looks like I got a piece of Gerald's journal From, oh see this was one thing that I was really wondering about because I didn't pre-order a physical version so I I knew I wasn't gonna get Gerald's journal at all <laughs> property of Eggman and ah put the guns Eggman put the gun sticker or Eggman put his logo sticker over the gun sticker because this is this is Gerald's journal. Inventory ID code internal use. I don't know, that's, that's clever. So yeah. Oh my god. I I am going to have to read all of this on my own time. But I. Oh god. I I get I gotta collect the pages of Gerald's journal. Thank you. I was so afraid that I wasn't going to be able to, like, actually be able to read probably whatever lore they've, they've got in Gerald's journal at all. But it's nice to know that I can unlock pages of Gerald's journal throughout the game. Well, throughout the white space. It's definitely something I'm... Oh, God. Just, just the collection of 
doing all this on, on my own time. Almost makes me not really want to do the Sonic half of the game, but that I'm that's kind of what I'm going to be doing. Is after I get done with the story for Shadow, I'm going to go through the story with Sonic. And then I just get to enjoy the game at my own leisure. So, I guess so enough uh fooling around. Sorry about that, everybody. Um actually, oh wait, there was something else that I wanted to uh yeah, Rail Canyon. There we go. I need to go here because I kind of purposefully didn't come here because I wanted to save it for this part to show off because I know these two. Hello, Shadow. Please don't smash us to bits. Huh? Okay. Stick into what uh, Orbots. Stick into what Cubots' uh, kind of broken ass voice sound like in at the end of Colors. Hello. Oh, hello, Shadow. How are you this fine morning? Evening? It's hard to say. No, we're not building a weapon, honest! Yes. Quite so. We found, what we found what appears to be the framework of a rocket. Just imagine if we can complete it, we can slip the bonds of this ceaseless yeah. expanse. Yeah, and we can fly out of this wave void, too! <laughs> However, we lack the speed and tenacity to search for the necessary parts, you see. And we're lazy. Hush. Hush. So if you don't mind, could you look for parts and could help us reconstruct it? We'll save you a seat on the escape rocket, buddy. <laughs> well, I need 80 of them, and I got 10, so I'm an eighth of the way there. I, I did look at the achievement list, and I knew that there's, there's an achievement for this. Not quite sure what's gonna happen once I get once I get that done, and I I don't know if I I'm probably I don't know if I'll leave it in or out. I don't know if I'll actually show it on camera or not. Like I said, my focus is kind of just getting through the story, and that seems to be an optional thing. To be fair, I'm kind of already drawn to collecting these things whenever I see them out in the hub world, so... Kind of whatever happens, happens, but, uh... Kingdom Valley! That really makes me wonder about the Sunset Height level, because that, technically, that takes place in the future, because this, this is supposed to take place, like, right after Colors. Oh, man. I... This just makes me really wait in anticipation for Project 06. Yeah. Ah, nope, not making it to that. boosting on this. It's just kind of sideswiping to left and right. Interesting. Multiple paths. Ah. Afraid of that? Eh, come on. Ah. Well, I flubbed that. Probably should have boosted instead of Stomp. Oh well. Okay, makes me wonder how I'm really supposed to get that. Chaos controllers gain a few seconds. 
Ah. Ah, clever little... I think I know what I gotta do for you. Uh... Okay. Chaos control. Oh. Okay. That was a waste. Didn't really know what to expect up next. Shadow. Well, so much for that. <laughs> oh, this mock speed section. Never played 06, but boy, have I watched plenty of playthrough of it. So I at least I'm not as ignorant as I would think I am on this. Yes. <sighs> yeah, 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 S rank. Cool. Makes me really wonder what the 2D. I think we've seen bits of 2D in the trailers and whatnot. Definitely say it had a bit more focus on the 3D, but in the trailers for what was shown for Kingdom Valley. All right, Kingdom Valley Act Two. There's something that's going to be kind. I feel like kind of interesting when I get to Mephilus. It's the fact that Mephilus is going to remember who Shadow is, and Shadow is not going to remember it. Oh wow! Did not think I'd be able to wall jump this. Shadow's not going to know who the hell the Mephilus is, and it's probably going to be a nice little reference to, uh, I guess, the beginning. You know, the beginning of Shadow's story when Shadow and Mephilus meet for the first time. When that's kind of same situation that uh, Mephilus knew who Shadow was, but Shadow didn't know who Mephilus was because time travel shenanigans in the plot of 06. This is the ultimate power. Ah, shit. <laughs> so, it's just gonna be interesting. Hearing what interactions are going to be between uh, those two. Chaos 
Alright, Jenna jumped. Also, it is kind of nice to see the, uh... Ah, oh, crap. Nope. I gotta restart. Because, uh... It doesn't really say that there's a no-death penalty. Aha! But, uh, I'm not taking the risk of not getting the S rank because, uh... I couldn't get... I couldn't beat the stage without any deaths. This is the ultimate power. I would rather, yeah, restart the stage than deal with an A rank. Unless it's a challenge stage, because, you know, I just have to get through that for, uh, the keys. So, ranks on those stages, not really priority. But it just kind of been working the fact that I've only really gotten one A rank and Okay. Thankfully I thankfully it's the Chaos doing this uh does give me some time to think. If anything, I just gotta make sure to make up my decision quick. Let's do this. This is the ultimate power. It gave me a full charge of chaos control. Ah. Kind of use that a little. Oh. Too soon. <laughs> that time it really needed me to. That was a real chaos control scripted event. Ooh, the way the, the 2D curves around like that makes me think of uh, Sonic Colors. Eagle! Thankfully, I don't gotta control the eagle. That thing. Oh, okay. I bet if I jumped, I could have sm shaved off a couple of seconds there. Nope. Thank God for your double jump. The double jump kind of makes me. Where does the double jump make me think of? It's not exactly colors. Ah, oh, come on. Ah, uh, nope. I just gotta hope that I can still get an S rank. Ah, oh, it's right at the end too. That's annoying. It's probably not gonna give me the S rank. Actually, I needed... Huh? Next rank, I needed more time. Interesting. Well, if I didn't die there, I probably would have been... I'd done better, but interesting that it... I, it is actually the time that... Gave me the A rank. Weird. Either way... Oh no, first... My first A rank in a standard stage. What a travesty. Big?! 
Okay, did not expect to see Big the Cat. <laughs> Where is he? Where? There he is. Oh my god, I did not expect to see Big. Uh, hello. Your name's Shadow, isn't it? Have you seen my good buddy, Froggy? Oh my god. <laughs> Big looks so good. Oh, Big, I haven't seen you in so long. And to be fair, the version of you in Frontiers wasn't even the real you. And this is the real Hi you! There. Oh, hello. Your name's Shadow, isn't it? Have you seen my good buddy, Froggy? No? Too bad. <laughs> Poor Shadow having to deal with Big. To be fair, he's had to... He's had run-in with Big in Heroes and Team Sonic Racing. I think that's kind of it. He ran off again, so I went looking for him. Somehow I wound up here. Of course. If I keep looking, I'll keep looking. If I see anything interesting, I'll let you know. Sure is peaceful here. Sure is peaceful here. No wind blowing, no birds chirping, no bugs buzzing. Don't you think it's cozy? I might take a nap. Do you like to fish? You never tried. That's too bad. Would you like to learn how? What? You're not interested. That's too bad. Alright, he's got nothing more to say. Um. Oh boy, I actually. Oh. You know what the annoying bit is? I have to get to the. I have to get past the two stages and then. Unlock the boss. Yeah. Oh, I need chaos control for this. That's another piece of Gerald's journal, isn't it? Alright. Huh. Alright, onward to Sunset Heights. I'm really curious if there's anything to be said about this stage. Because as I said before, the time that this is supposed to take place is after Colors. So this is somehow Shadow getting a glimpse of the future. Which is interesting to do. Because I get that there's only so many games with Shadow in it, and so many levels that you can do with Shadow. Oh my god. It's gonna do what I think. Oh my god. Yep. And this looks a lot better than in Forces. Ugh. Forces is probably the one platforming Sonic game I haven't gotten on PC yet. Because I got it on Switch. I played through it on Switch. And I'm sorry to tell y'all, I 100% of that game on Switch. So I really just not much of in a mood. I like this remix. This remix goes pretty good, though. Whew. Ah! This! Okay! Huh. I... The thing that kind of throws me off a bit is the fact that there's no... There's, there isn't any dialogue at all. I kind of would hope that Black Doom would show up and be like, Look, this is your future. Or something like that. Because it's a little surreal to have Shadow... Oh, I got hit by something bullcrap. Okay, sorry. Um, it'd be a little surreal to, like, have a bit of the future, like, shown to Shadow. I don't know, I, don't, I just don't know what to think of it. My mind is just... Oh, my, I can't think straight because of just, like, the idea of Shadow being shown a bit of the future. Because it just, it makes me think, like, in Forces, I don't mean in, contextually, in Forces, Shadow kind of knows a bit of the events. Uh, I keep
keep jumping off of him. It's like, why do I... What's going on here? I'm using Chaos Control hopefully to shave some seconds. Aha! Black Doom! You son of a gun, you took away my Chaos Control. Radical Highway starts playing again. Huh. Think this will stop me? I see an alternate path. Oh, come on! I'm probably wasting time. Aha! Aha! Jacuz! Oh, this! Interesting. Oh god, it's upside down. Can't say I'm the biggest fan of that. That screws with me a little bit. As cool as it is. God, I'm not even on hack. Interesting. Yeah. Hey. Kinda sucks that Black Doom isn't really saying anything about, you know, the future that Shadow just witnessed. Cause I feel like Shadow would question what he just saw. Oh crap, I got no rings. I like that there actually is a little effect that Shadow has when you try to hit the boost and nothing. I still got S. So it really is just based on more on time. And not really getting perf like perfection. Getting a perfect bonus like uh and in Sonic. Okay, we're releasing this thing bit by bit. Feels like that we're like releasing that thing's restraint, the Black Moon's restraints. The more and more we do stuff, the more of those emblems we get. So I think I can get a wild guess what the next power I'm going to be getting is. But first, I gotta play through Act Two, go through four challenge stages, and then a boss. Okay. Clever little, oh, you clever little bastards at Sega and Sonic Team, doing the little enemy light speed dash that Shadow had specific for like what two stages in a in his little campaign in forces. These clever little devils. Actually, I should just boost. Thank God for that. Chaos control. 
Also, I didn't really notice this because I was too busy admiring the gameplay. Was um, him saying this is the ultimate power. Uh, I I recognize that from him saying that in Shadow the Hedgehog when you get the hero gauge filled. Oh, dang it, I screwed up. This is the ultimate power. Yeah. When you get chaos control in Shadow the Hedgehog, that, that's what he says. This is the ultimate power. If you get the evil gauge filled, he says, uh, I'll destroy those who dare oppose me, I think. Something along those lines. One died right now, better. Ah. Don't want to get washed away. Clever that with the water staying still, he just does Doom Surf. Yeah! Oh no. I feel like that's a new enemy. Maybe that was an enemy that was had a concept in for Sonic Forces, because I can't say I remember an enemy that looked like that. If there was one in Forces, then I apologize for being wrong. Oh man, this remix of Sunset Heights is so good. Hey. Hey. Sunset Heights restored. Come on, you gotta give us something for Shadow being in Sunset Heights when he technically... Why Sunset Heights is here when it shouldn't be here yet? Counter-argument to that is... Um, why is, uh... Can't think of that name. Ah, hey, Maria! I want to say Chaos City, but I know that's not it. The level of... The 06 level in Sonic's... In Sonic Generations. Why that's in that stage when technically... That timeline got erased. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Maria. Shadow. Oh. <laughs> Maria. Thank you, Shadow. Professor. Where did you learn to fight like that? Must be from a point in time before the Ark disaster. Perhaps I can change their fate. Ah! Shadow, you look grim. Are you all right? Oh no! I'll be fine. We'll all be fine. Find somewhere safe to hide. I'll take care of everything. Oh no! Hmm. Oh, and Gerald knows some. Gerald's not an idiot. He knows something's not... Oh, I... Okay, I couldn't move the camera for a second because it was just, like, aimed in on Gerald and, uh, Maria. Oh, Shadow's gonna try and change their fate, and Gerald is gonna... is just gonna tell him he's gotta accept it. Alright, another piece of Gerald's journal. I'll take that. Ooh, the Angel Island bit. Ark. Okay. All right, I gotta see what these both. Of these. Oh, Shadow. I've deduced that we're in some kind of temporal anomaly. Therefore, I thought it better not to interact with too many elements to prevent a paradox from occurring. Smart thinking, Professor. 
but you've been acting rather boldly, so perhaps I've been too cautious. Hmm. I'll continue to study the anomaly. If I find anything per pertinent, I'll inform you right away. Very good. Be careful. I'll be honest, uh... I'm a little, I don't really know where I stand on the fact that they stuck with uh, Thin Gerald for this game instead of Portly Gerald from Shadow. I don't know. I get. I kind of like the Portly one because it makes him look e a bit more like Eggman. Because he already obviously looks like Eggman with the glasses and the stash. But, I don't know. What's Maria's dialogue? Shadow, when did you become so strong and confident? <laughs> oh, uh, don't worry about that, Maria. Be careful, Shadow. Please be careful out there. Those aliens are fearsome. Shadow. Oh, Shadow. You were just getting comfortable aboard the Ark when all of this happened. I hope all the staff is doing okay. They've all really warmed up to you. Oh, uh, ha, ha. Well, that gives us kind of a point in time when these two get ripped out of space. Uh, I got, how am I going to get all the way over there? Ooh, I saw a box I can open. I saw a collection box. This is another sha piece of Shadow's history. Yeah, Sonic the Hedgehog. Part 2. So, that's probably more information on Shadow... there. Huh. Uh huh. Okay, I gotta get to an angle where I can see all of them clearly. Shadow's gonna have a real tough heartbreak, cause definitely hearing hearing him think that oh maybe I can change their fate immediately to me screams like oh he his heart's gonna be broken again, cause he's gotta give up, cause he knows he has to give up. He has to willingly give up Gerald and Maria, and that is. That's gonna be tough on him. That's gonna be real tough on him. Oh! Ah, oh, Dan. Ah! -ha! Give me that piece of art. I've got thirteen. Whoa, what is that pi Is that one of Shadow's alt costumes? For special alternate costumes for Adventure 2? Because the one on the left is Riders. The middle one's Lancelot from Black Knight. I haven't played Black Knight. I have Black Knight. I've had it for a good couple of years, and it's just been sitting. My mom... I asked for it for Christmas, and my mom got it for me for Christmas, and I still haven't sat down to play through Black Knight. I need to. Because I have uh, Secret Rings. That's technically my first Sonic game. Uh, I make the distinction of the game that introduced me to the character Sonic. The first game that I, had, I played with Sonic in it. And the first Sonic the Hedgehog game I played. The first game with Sonic in it was Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing. Uh, my cousin had it. Yada yada yada. I have a whole video where I play that game and I explain that. Go watch it if you haven't. Nah. And, um... Yeah. I'm really excited for Project Reignition. Looks like a lot of progress did get... is being done on that game. Okay. I... I'm so annoyed that I just did this climb just to go back and get the keys and then make the climb again. I dislike that it's that it's doing this. Just give me the challenge stages and the frickin' keys. 
Okay, there's two over there. There's two over there. So I can either go to Kingdom Valleys or Sunset Heights. I'm... Wait, no. Did I see two each? Oh, wow, another piece of artwork. Ooh! Cool. God, I'm gonna be wanting to look in every nook and cranny for these collection boxes. Um, okay. Fast travel rails to... Kingdom Valley and Sunset Heights, so... They were really smart enough on making on the designs of these to not really waste your time. Oh, wait. No, there's the other one's over there. Okay. Yeah, so there is four keys I can grab. Interesting. Why? If there's another two stages after this and then Mephilus. What? That I'm gonna have extra keys. Oh well. Beware of pillars that pop up. Reach the goal without being crushed by moving pillars. I actually kind of wanted to go to Sunset Heights, but I picked the wrong, uh, wrong path. Come on, man! God, I... that... Getting S rank, that's for sure. slow in some parts. Oh well. I'm gonna have to go back to get that, uh, gear key anyways. Ah, taking a bit of a sip of my drink. Okay. Uh, destroy the egg gunners. Okay. Just destroy enough enemies in a certain amount of time. I saw that and missed it. And that's the only one that I'm gonna be missing. Chaos control. <laughs> I I think I would have been able to get that without using chaos control, but I didn't really realize how close I was. Ah, uh, the thing is, I know where that R key's at and whatnot. In this stage. Oh well. Alright. That's this key. And one more should actually get me to 
Metal Overlord. Oh, please! I hope to God that we get Neo Metal Sonic transforming into Metal Overlord. Please don't just have it be Metal Overlord pops out of nowhere. With all the nice cinematics you've been doing for this game, please give us me Neo Metal transforming into Metal Overlord. That's all I ask. Out of my way. All right. Uh. Hmm. Crush this. Crush with Surf Spin. Destroy this targets with Surf Spin. Break us a number of blue containers and reach the goal in time. Haven't been the best on Doom Surf, which I know. Uh, Metal Overlord. A lot of it. I know. How his boss fight requires a lot of that. So this will be good practice for me. There. Oh, dang it. It, the goal's right there! Oh, dang it. I'm not gonna get... Ah, uh, I'm not gonna get s rank because of circumstances. Oh, well. I could've got s rank. I didn't get any of the collection keys. Ah, well. Get these done. Go to Sunset Heights. <coughs> We're so lucky you're out of my current range. Uh, plus ring collector level two. Collect us a number of rings and raise the goal in time. Can do. Got all three and the S rank. Yes! Less backtracking I have to do! Kingdom Valley fully restored. Haven't really ran into too many of the music boxes. Small shame because, uh, would love. To uh, unlock some more music. More artwork! Ooh, Sonic Rivals 2! Oh, right! I forgot that Shadow's in both Rivals games. I'm sorry. It does make me wonder, it's like, I, want, I wonder why they didn't pull levels from the Sonic Rival games to be in this game. I wonder why. Ah, oh, dang. Um, I gotta make my way to Sunset Heights. I feel like Black Doom's gonna also. It seems like I wanna th like Black Doom's not really saying as much as I thought he would. He's just focusing on seeing Shadow get these new abilities and evolving, and. It just like I was really hoping to hear like Black Doom try to like say stuff to persuade Shadow to like work with him, like showing him sun, like him going to Sunset Heights, uh, like him saying something like 
this is your this is something that'll happen in the future. This is is your future unless uh, you work with me and we can prevent this interesting concept artwork. Oh. Huh, quick access. Noise. on. Okay. Ha! More artwork. Ooh! That's an interesting little piece of artwork. I've never seen that. A little bit of artwork. There's probably a lot of art, like, not even concept art, but, like, art like that. Uh, ooh, one ring challenge. I'll do that. Get that out of the way. Also, yeah, I think I'm also noticing that there isn't as many challenges for Shadow. It is literally just the ones that you have to do for the story. Unlike the mount that was that's gonna be in for Sonics. No. Ah, flubbed it. There we go. up right at the end. Well, I don't really need the one ring, but it's like, I guess I almost screwed it up there at the end. Not being able to get the S rank. Beware the spinning spikes. Okay. Seeing a theme with these two for Act 1. A lot of, uh, spikes. Very spiky. Very spiky. Jesus. Oh god, an elevator sequence. Control, baby! Oh, I missed one. I thought I got all three. Oh, well, doesn't matter. And me on time. Okay. I've got enough. I got more than enough for done like the boss door, but. No key left behind, because I don't. I'm not going to want that to uh, backtrack through this big old level. Like, uh, it, it's kind of a thing for me for recording is like, I just want the smoothest beginning to end, uh, run. Interesting. Which is why I'm not too heavily full. I get a little distracted with stuff, but I'm trying not to get too distracted on getting everything in the hub world done. This it, this obviously feels like more, uh, not busy, well, busy work, but just extra stuff that I'm not really sure pertains to the main story. It's definitely something to just, like, keep your attention 
span going. Alright, dash rings. This is an interesting one. Okay, I gotta... God, this remix for Sunset Height, I love it. I I remember liking Sunset Heights, uh, the in the original Sun, not the level, but the music. To be fair, I think I still think the best music in Forces is the Avatar stages, mainly because those are the stages that actually get vocal lyrics in them. And then obviously the worst ones are Classic Sonic. Classic Sonic had little to no right being in Forces. It was literally just, hey, Classic Sonic's coming back. Like in Generations, and then we have this. A remake of Generations. Death Egg Robot Panic. Reach the goal while avoiding the interference from the Death Egg Robot. Okay. Let's go. I see what you mean by the interference by the Death Egg Robot. That's interesting. I actually have to cause a bit of the interference to progress through the stage. Let's do this. This is the ultimate power. Okay, no. Curious as to how I'm supposed to get that. Ah. <laughs> I was wondering, he's like, how do I get that key? How do I get that gear key? How do I get that collection box key? That's how. I use Chaos Control. Okay, where are the keys? Over this here. And then now I just gotta make my way back. Interesting. I don't... What's the... It just sends me back. Unless there's... There's another switch up over here that I need to hit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, one switch on each of those platforms, like, there's another one on the third one, isn't there? Right on the money. Hey, yo! More artwork! Ooh, Super Shadow Renders. Music! What are you giving me? What are you giving me? What are you giving me? Cosmic Fall! Ooh, the fact that we're really getting all Shadow the Hedgehog uh, stage music. It's making me happy! Okay, I gotta get my butt over there. And I guess I'm doing it this way. Oh! Hello. Central City! Just haven't found Westopolis yet. It's gonna be... I'm gonna laugh pretty... Oh, right. I was wondering if there was a shortcut in there. It's like, no. Nope. Gotta do it the way the game wants me to. Okay, that's something that's nice. I don't have to press B to warp up to smack him. 
I can just... Uh, wow, I actually have full control. Sorry. Not used to the wall running and actually getting full control, but I can hit X again to do that instead of press B like the game said. Thank you. Alright. <laughs> oh, I'm excited because I know who this is. I will admit, I kind of wish that they left the bosses a bit more hidden, but I can't say I'm not excited for these bosses. Bio Lizard was an obvious one. Metal Frickin' Overlord was not who I would have ever thought would be a boss. Oh, and we get a nice remix of what I'm made of. Yep, he's gonna be in Metal... Ah! Yep, he's already in Metal Overlord form. Ah! I won't... That's just kick-ass. And I love how he looks. I love how they really paid attention to detail. I love the attention to detail on him. Uh... Use surf spin to move. Yep. Ah, oh, dang it. I, I keep missing the ramps. And of course. Okay, I gotta dodge all. Ah! That would have been a time to use chaos control. I'll be There's definitely faster ways to get these bosses done. Checkpoint. Oh, okay. Neat that he actually uses his tail. Neat that I'm probably gonna actually die to this boss. Oh no, I got rings. Oh, come on. Why am I getting hurt doing this? Oh, crap. I couldn't grab the... I was just about to grab those rings. I can't boost while I'm surfing. Let's see how long you last on such unstable terrain. Dude, I'm surfing on a mana ray made of, like, dark energy. Volleyball! Gotta do something, bud. I am the king of all creation. Nobody can defeat me. Not you, not Sully, not anyone. Show you this. <laughs> Cinematics. Finish him. Finishing blow. Right 
Didn't even need to go super for him. Just needed this sick ass mana ray. Ah, was the Vanquished Metal Overlord. Ooh, oh, I only got a B that time. Ooh, yeah, I know I could have done that faster. A part of me wants to retry that, but. Because I know I missed some ramps to be able to take them down a bit more and go that, do that faster. I'm just not oh, that great on the on the mana ray just yet on uh, Doom Surf. So, and the fact that the whole boss takes place on Doom Surf, which makes me wonder if this new Doom Power is going to be a gimmick for Mephilus. That's something I wonder. Yep, something is slowly being freed from that moon. Alright, well, show us the next area. Or more cutscene, right? Feel the connection to the symbol in the sky. It's the same tingle as my new abilities. It is the power of Black Doom. Grandfather? I made a Faustian deal with that monster to create Shadow. Now it seems that we all have to pay for my sins. So my powers, that symbol, they're all connected. Maria's illness couldn't be treated on Earth. I could better manage her condition on the Ark, even if her family didn't like the idea. I attempted to develop the ultimate life form. The a means to find a cure for Maria. Yeah. My own experiments reached their frustrating limits. So when that alien warlord reached out to me, Offered the miracle of chaos control, I accepted it. Through his DNA, the ultimate life form was born. Black Doom wanted me to make the perfect warrior for him, so these new abilities are all part of his grand design. You two are linked by blood. As you grow in power, so does he. Hmm, interesting. He will either take control of your mind and make you his ultimate weapon, or take over your body and be reborn in you. Ah, clever. You made me the ultimate life form, Professor. Black Doom is a fool. I'll take this power and use it as my own. Okay. Last area and final two level. Oh, right, I gotta get the Doom Power first. Then the next two levels will be available. Because the pattern's kind of already been set. We get two levels with two X in each of them. The challenge stages, then the boss. But interesting. That. The fact that, uh. Sh yeah, because Shadow was created of, uh. Black Doom's blood. Um. They are. They have that connection. And he's literally going to try to be reborn. Through Shadow. Somehow. Interesting. Clever bastard, Black Doom. Okay, how am I supposed to get over there? Yeah. Oh, I can actually walk on this stuff. Just really slow. Okay. Calls to me. Interesting that these are sealed, that these are supposed to be sealed away by these gears. 
Meaning that these abilities were just locked away until Shadow started unlocking them. No. no pupils. There it is. Doom Morph. Now he really is Venom. It kind of reminds me of Frenzy from uh, Sonic Colors. But in all honesty, it's just like, yeah, now he really is Venom. Change forms by pressing X during a jump through a morph ball. Speed through the corruption and jump great heights by using another morph ball. Adjust the direction of jump with L and R. Ah, so I gotta go through those things. This is gonna take me a minute. Ah, lava shelter. Okay. Can I save? I can save, and somebody... Omega wants to talk. So... Yeah. I'm gonna save it. And that'll do it for this part of Shadow Sonic and Shadow Generations. Thank you all for coming by to watch this. I really appreciate it. Y'all know the deal with the outro. Like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope y'all will return for the next episode. Till then, everybody. Have a good day.